Dr. Sherry Tenpenny has graciously agreed to stay with us 20 minutes in the next hour, so we're going to start going to your calls immediately when we start the fourth hour. The last 30 minutes, Rob Dew, Jason Douglas, Jason Burmas from the G20, openly announcing the end of the dollar in the next couple of years, openly announcing global government. Is so much is happening, and they need this crisis of the flu. The UN bragged a couple of months ago this was great for world government. Everybody was following the World Health Organization orders. Is it immoral? So I tell people not to do anything illegal, but now they're making everything illegal. That people around the country are going to Walgreens and spraying uh, flu shot is poison, squalene mercury on the side of Walgreens. I don't think you should do that, but you probably should. You know, put up basic facts, hand out flyers, go to Sherry Tenpenny's website, hand those out to people. That's your First Amendment right. But if the flu shot causes Gillian Berets with anybody, if it causes neurological problems, if this has happened in the past, is it more immoral to not warn people and let them die or get sick? Or is it more immoral to spray paint on the side of Walgreens, Dr. Sherry Tenpenny? <laughs> Well, I don't know about immoral, but it certainly could be illegal. So I think that there's other ways. I mean, I, I saw your report on that, and I saw the letters, and I saw what you wrote underneath there, and I agree. You know, nobody's condoning um, people to go out and do vandalism and, and do that. But, you know, on the other hand, you know, you know, good for them that they were brave enough to do it. Because I think that we've been so indoctrinated with fear for so long, fear from so many different areas, that we're afraid to stand up and say and, and, and go hand out flyers. You know, I keep a, when I go to, if you go to pandemicfluonline.com or you go to drtenpenny.com and you download the flyers that says the truth about the flu shot, there's another one on Pandemic Flu Online that's about the Raggedy Ann doll and it tells you the whole history of what the mandatory vaccination is about. I keep a stack of those in the back of my car. And when I go into restaurants or I go into uh, places like Macy's or other or Walmart or any place like that, I just take a handful of them. And I just walk down the aisle and I just say, here's something you might want to look at. I don't engage in conversation. I don't want to debate. And I don't really much care if they just throw them in the trash. But you never know where those might go. That person may take those and make 500 copies and hand them out to everybody in their I church. think what you're saying is resistance is victory. You have the truth, you resist, banner hangs on highways, yes. posters, yes. signs, city yes. council. We are the people. Yes. If, if the listeners start, which they've done, that's why the show's so powerful, because of you, the listeners and viewers. Yep. If you go out and take action, spread links of this video, this audio to everybody you know. If you tell people about DrTenPenny.com, if you just get involved, we're unstoppable. But if you sit there in fear... That's why they're now telling people, protest the government, you're going to be put on a no-fly list. If we give in to that, they win. I mean, that is ultimate tyranny to say, no judge, no jury, we just put you on a secret list. Did you know that that just happened to my people in Pittsburgh? No, I didn't. I there? talked to the police. They were bragging about it. They go, uh, yeah, they, 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 they called the rental car place off our license plate and said, you're trying to talk to the military. You're a terrorist. We're putting you on a list, and I'm going to have to probably sue them. We just lost Dr. Sherry Tenpenny. We're going to call her back. Yeah, that phone system drops. We may have to go to a regular landline system uh, but uh, or whatever happened. Uh, but we'll uh, get her back on. I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on and on what these people do. And they just totally immoral. They think of us as not even human. Frame somebody, lie about somebody, set somebody up. Say my guys ran from the military, total lies. I was on the cell phone when we went up to talk to the troops. Said we want to talk to your public information officer. They said, ah, come back tomorrow. And then they call the police and say, guys, we're at the perimeter. They ran. They're terrorists. Get them. I mean, you know, this is the insanity. I'm surprised my guys aren't on the news in shackles. We caught Al Qaeda. We caught him. We caught him. We caught him. You know. When they Dr. Sherry Tenpenny, stay there. We're back in one minute. We're gonna go to calls. And talk a lot more about this issue in the next 20 minutes with Dr. Sherry Tenpenny. Infowars.com is our website. DrTenpenny.com is hers. Stay with us. We're having trouble getting a hold of my crew in the middle of a demonstration in Pittsburgh, PA, for the G20. I hope they'll be here in 30 minutes. Stay with us for that. Dr. Sherry Tenpenny, are uh, you ready to go to calls? I am. Let's talk to Aaron in Utah. Aaron, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, hey, Alex. Hello, sir. How are you? Good. What's on your mind? Good. Good. Hey, just real quick question for you. 
I was listening uh, to your show and another show, you know, RBN with Dr. Chua, and he just released some information from Bob Chapman saying that the uh, there's a naval vessel somewhere off the coast that's been fully quarantined now because the ship's captain and petty officer and many others have died from swine flu injections. Well, that's amazing. We'll uh, check that. Email it to writers at infowars.com. Uh, but that's, you know, always with the 1918, 1976, 77, it always, the deadly thing only happens on a base, and then and then they try to force inoculation. Dr. Sherry Tenpenny, comments on that? Well, that would be pretty interesting to track that down to find out if that's true. But, you know, I think they're suspecting those things, Alex. I'm sure you reported a couple of days ago when the when the Canadian government sent swine flu vaccine and syringes in body bags to the Indians in northern Manitoba, the Indian reservations up there. So was that the message that if you die from the flu, here's your body bags? Or was that the message, if you get your flu shot, you're going to die, you're going to die and here's your body bag? Yeah, that was in the uh, National Post newspaper. <clears throat> Just off the charts, bizarre. And there's been body bag purchases, the British news reports, and the U.S. news. And all those plastic FEMA coffins, they admit, were purchased by the CDC that are kept in Georgia, Alabama, Colorado, California, and Oklahoma. Uh, thank you so much for that tip, Aaron. Tom in California. Tom, you're on the air. Alex, thank you for your work and for having me on. I uh, had some information from a, a Professor Garth Nicholson that's written hundreds of peer-reviewed medical journal articles. Yes, he used to work at the MD Anderson facility. We've had him on. In fact, that's a good idea to get Nicholson on about the microplasm incognitus. Go ahead. Well, some of his videos I posted on my MySpace page is uh, myspace.com slant toxic reverend. I'm an environmental technologist. But next to my icon, which is a red skull and bones, is a little link says videos. You click on that. He has two. I posted two of his videos on the dangers of vaccines and another one on the biological weapons experiments on the American Yeah, he's public. a scientific medical doctor, very prestigious. Um, right. And one of the things he talked about was how they don't screen for these mycoplasmas. They're, they're now uh, incapacitating agents, non-lethal bioweapons. Well, that's why all the studies in rats show vaccines are causing in rodents just incredible arthritis. I uh, appreciate your call. Dr. Tenpenny, can you comment on the RNA, the viruses, the German news reporting cancer viruses in the shots? Well, yes, I can on two points. One is just to, to acknowledge what the caller said. We've known for years that at least 6% of all vaccines, and these are also childhood vaccines, that up to 6% of vaccines have mycoplasma in them. They're not screened out for that. So that's not even the, the swine flu and the, and the regular flu. So mycoplasma has been getting into the population for a long time. And, 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 and describe people that don't know what that is. It's like a... So mycoplasma is, is an organism that kind of, kind of lives somewhere between a virus and a bacteria is the best way to explain it. It's susceptible to antibiotics, but it hides inside of your cells, so the antibiotics aren't always effective. And when it goes inside the cells, it acts more like a virus in terms of replication. And it's a very nasty bug, and it can cause a lot of problems in a, in, in a lot of health problems, a lot of different health problems. And there's a whole we host of different types of mycoplasma, too. Just a big breaking news. I'm going to get Kurt Nemo and Paul Watson to post this right now, but you can just Google it. Navy ships under swine flu quarantine, AP. Group of Navy ships under quarantine after several dozen sailors and Marines on board tested positive for swine flu. So they're just fear-mongering over that. doesn't look like anybody died. Uh, health officials say at least 69 people have been confirmed with the virus. So they make much ado about nothing when 30-some percent of the population already has it and aren't even sick. And all of them have since recovered. So nobody's dead. Key point there. Everyone's on, recovered. There's the key point. Nobody's dead on the USS Boxer. Navy officials say they now quarantine an undetermined number of crew members with flu-like symptoms on four ships that are part of the USS Boxer Amphibious Ready Group, which arrived in Hawaii on Friday. The ships are docked. Hello.